Tumors of the cervical spine Benign tumors Hemangioma You will find vertical striation on the x-ray or honeycomb appearance. Most of the hemangiomas are asymptomatic and are incidental finding and they don't require any intervention. However, preoperative embolization may be necessary if resection is needed. Asteroid osteoma and osteoblastoma. Asteroid osteoma is less than 2 cm. Osteoblastoma is more than 2 cm and it affects the posterior element. Usually it is round, radiolucent nidus with a surrounding gram of sclerotic bone. Osteoblastoma may be confused with osteosarcoma. In osteoblastoma, you do marginal excision, osteoid osteoma, very hard to see it in an x-ray because of a small size, and usually the patient will present with painful scoliosis or torticollis. And the pain is usually relieved by aspirin. Another one is aneurysmal bone cyst. You will find fluid, fluid level on CT scan or MRI. Pain can be present. Treatment is excision. It usually affects the posterior element of the spine. Iserophilic granuloma. It is caused by histiocytosis X usually seen in young children below the age of 10. You may see a lytic lesion of the vertebral body. Sometimes the x-ray shows a dense ring of collapsed cortical bone sandwiched between intact vertebral disc. They call it vertebra plana. It's rarely symptomatic, usually self-limiting, we usually treat it by conservative treatment, maybe use some orthosis. Sometimes a large tumor may compress the spinal cord, and if that happens, we can treat it by low-dose radiation. Vertebral plana means xenophilic granuloma. Giant cell tumor usually occur in the sacral region, less commonly in the cervical spine. Uh, sometimes it's hard to distinguish giant cell tumor from other tumors on the x-ray. Usually is found in the anterior part of the spine. It can appear as a radiolucent expansile lesion with cortical shell and bony septi. Recurrence is common, secondary to inadequate resection. You may have about 10% incidence of malignant transformation due to irradiation. Osteochondroma or exostosis. Uh, it is cartilaginous growth on the surface of the bone, usually arises from the posterior element of the spine, for example, the spinous process. It may not be visible in x rays. The cartilaginous reducing cap may grow and it may cause some compressive symptoms. The treatment ex excision, if symptomatic, Malignant transformation to chondrosarcoma should be suspected if the cartilaginous cap is more than 2 cm in diameter. Paget disease. Paget disease is a chronic disorder that can result in enlarged bones, excessive breakdown and formation of bone tissue, which ends by sclerosis giving the ivory appearance on an x-ray. You find an ivory vertebra, less likely to develop in the cervical spine and more common in the sacral and lumbar region. The differential diagnosis is prosthetic metastasis. Now we go to the malignant tumors that are not very common. Osteosarcoma is very rare. It can be seen predominantly in the lumbar and the sacral region, but it can be found in the cervical spine. The x-ray will look like lytic and plastic lesion with destruction of the vertebra and sparing of the discs. 
Ewing, it affected the body of the vertebrae. The condition affect young patient between 10 to 20. The x-ray will show lytic lesion with osseous expansion or sclerosis. Multiple myeloma is the most common primary malignancy of the bones and the spine. It's due to malignancy of plasma cells. It appears on x-rays as a lytic lesion of the bone. Sometimes they call them punched out lesions. The skeletal survey is used to screen for other lesions throughout the body. Bone scan show low sensitivity and it is usually called in about 30-35% of the cases. Treatment is usually radiotherapy and surgery for decompression and or stabilization of the spine. Lymphoma, mainly non-Hodgkin lymphoma, bone lymphoma is commonly diagnosed between 40 to 60 years of age. It can be detected on plain x-ray in only 30 to 42 percent of patients. The treatment is radiotherapy and chemotherapy. Metastasis. The most common tumor that metastasize to the spine are prostate, renal, thyroid, breast, and lung. The differential diagnosis is infection. Infection usually affects the end plates. Tumor usually affects the body and the pedicles. Thank you very much for listening. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.